Oslo Lufta. Avsikkerhetsmessige grunner ber vi deg passe på tingene dine, og ikke la bagasjen stå uten tilsyn. Attention everyone at Oslo Airport. For security reasons, please look after your personal belongings and do not leave any baggage unattended. Welcome on board and uh, welcome to Norwegian. Welcome back to Norwegian. You've been here a couple of times now and we are always uh, happy to have you on board. Today we have a uh, quite special day lineup for you guys. We are flying from here in Oslo up to Tromsø in northern Norway and from there further north up to the island of uh, Svalbard. And uh, we'll get down to the details on that along the way. Uh, my name is Lars Elden, I'm the captain on this flight, and today I'm happy to be here with my good friend and skilled first officer, Stefan Reno Hamre. What's up everyone, welcome aboard. Looking forward to this day, uh, very special flight as Lars said, up to uh, Tromsen and Svalbard. And uh, looking good on the weather side, sunny uh, day up in uh, Svalbard, which is uh, should be a very good day. Enjoy. Prior to 8 knots, we'll stop for any abnormalities from 8 knots and prior to V1, we'll stop for engine uh, fire, failure, predict the wind shear warning, or airplane is unsafe to fly. If we stop, I'll call stop my controls, close the thrust levers, disengage the auto throttle, apply max manual braking, verify RT auto brake, raise the speed brake lever, re apply reverse thrust, and stop the aircraft. Good. If you call stop or verify thrust levers are closed, hot throttle disengaged, maximum brakes applied, call speed brakes up, speed brakes not up, very Verify reverse trust applied and call versus status. Call limited items, if any, call 80 knots, 60 knots. Call auto brake disarm and inform ATC. Five. Stand by with engine start due to long push. Standing by. You can start engine two and one in sequence. Starting number two and one in sequence. Yes, right side. Flaps five. B4 taxi checklist. Before taxi, generators on, probe is on, anti is off, air corner press, packs auto, isolation valve auto, any start switches, continuous recall. Checked. Checked in the start levers. Pilot tents. Flying controls. Checked. Ground equipment. Clear. Flaps. Five land, five green lights. Five checked, five green light. APU is off before taxi checklist completed. Thank you very much. We can request taxi. Nordic 1718. Nordic 396, request tax. Nordic 396, taxi kilo, November 2011. All clear on the right. Thank you. Nordic 396, wind calm, runway 01 left, clear for takeoff. Tier 1 left, clear takeoff, Nordic 396. Clear takeoff. Finner 60 yeah. miles, far contact ground, 1 to 1, 9, Ready. 0, 5. Good morning. Ready. Your controls. My controls. Setting just. Thrust set. V1. Rotate. Positive rate. Spear up. Contact departure 118475. Good morning. 118475, good morning, Nordic 396. Speed checks. I'll go back to 1, wind cap. Oslo, Eric, good morning, Nordic 396, passing 2500 on the deep 1 off of departure. Nordic 396, good morning, identifying clamp side of 210. Clamp side of 210, Nordic 396. Flaps 210 is set. Again. Flaps up, no light. Set. And cancel speeding flaps. Keep 
I don't think we could ask for nicer weather. It's beautiful here. So we're up at uh, cruising uh, level now, 37,000 feet, flight level 370, and um, just departed um, Oslo Airport on the way to Tromsø. Departure out of uh, Oslo, we're parked at uh, gate 13, which is situated here. And um, got a push back off to Kilo and started the engines, taxied out on Kilo here. Then uh, made a left turn on November and we did a uh, intersection departure of Alpha 3 here. We did the performance calculation, so we had good margins. Nice day, departed uh, 0 1 left, which is the westerly pointing runway and uh, northerly direction. And departure, we had the departure that was quality B1 Alpha of 0 1 left, which is basically a uh, slightly left turn after uh, three miles, and then uh, right turn again up to a place uh, or a point rather that's called Eribe. We are uh, well on our way up to Trumsa and uh, as it looks now we'll be landing more ahead more or less on, on scheduled time, maybe a couple of minutes ahead. You've uh, seen films from Norwegian before, right now we uh, have a fleet size of around 80 aircraft and uh, our plan now is to expand to around 90 aircraft. This is a 737-800, we are slowly phasing them out, we're getting a lot of new MAX 8 aircraft from uh, Boeing in Seattle, straight uh, from the factory to Oslo to fit them with uh, the customization we uh, want and then ship them out to our different bases. Right now we have bases around Norway, we have uh, Nordics with uh, Denmark and Finland and we are expanding now with the new base in Latvia and we have a couple of bases in Spain. After departure the printer of the uh, aircraft uh, automatically prints one of these and it does so every uh, flight, I think it's 8 or 10 minutes after departure. And it's uh, kind of a neat uh, piece of uh, information that we get actually, it's from a company in Sweden called Avtech and we uh, by a ser service from them that actually optimize our route with uh, wind and uh, direction and speed, wind data, um, that uh, enables us to have a most uh, optimum flight level and uh, routing with the updated uh, information about the winds that can uh, give us the most efficient uh, flight level and as well the descent path of the uh, airplane. And it calculates the top of descent point, as you can see here, so that we can uh, fly with the uh, trust in idle as long as possible and uh, in that way save as much fuel and uh, emissions as possible. We have uh, usually a, a line here that uh, gives us the savings in kilograms of fuel and also the time uh, compared to other flight levels. And from there on we're um, on the localizer and catching the glide here. Pretty steep, a 4 degrees as you can see as well. Uh, both uh, 1, 8 and 3, 6 is very steep here. So try to configure as early as possible. And it's uh, 4 degrees down to a minimum of uh, 385. Can I set it the side as well? Yep. Flap 40 is a good plan. So flap 40, center wind correction for now. It'll be auto brake 3, and I'll use uh, second, intent, second intent reverse thrust. And for the landing, yeah. If we pass Echo here, it'll be a backtrack in. This is it usually via Echo, is it? Usually in via Echo, yeah. and today we're parking way south on uh, gate 17, I guess. Okay. Twenty five hundred RLI one zero one zero change one zero one zero. Right, disengaging autopilot. Check this. Subject self contact. 
400. Oh, that'll do. Minimums. 300. Two hundred. I should let him fight. One hundred. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Ten. Speed it up. Two diversers. Eighty percent. Hundred knots. Eighty knots. Six knots, my controls. There we are. So now we prepare for the next flight, and uh, I'll be the pilot flying over to Svalbard. Yeah, should be good. Just three legs to go. <laughs> Setting trust. V1. Rotate. Pause the rate. Gear up. One. Speed check. And flaps up. Speed check. What about A in command? Check. Speed into end. And right, 396 approaching flight to all nine zero. zero. Big luggage. Nordic 396 identified. Continue climb level 180. Thank you. Climb flight level 180. Nordic 396. 180 sets. Check. And we're back to VNAV speed. And we're going to speed. Uh, check. Polaris control, very good uh, morning. Norik 396, passing flight to 131, climbing 180 in Don Combat. Polaris 396, Polaris, good uh, morning. Climb flight to 290. Climb flight level 290, Norik 396. 290 Check. So now we're just heading out over the ocean and uh, more or less straight north towards uh, Svalbard. We can have a quick look at the map here. Uh, Svalbard is one of the more special places that we fly. Well, the most, not the most difficult, but the most exotic place we fly. Here you have uh, Norway and more or less straight north towards the pole. Here's the North Pole, so it's halfway up to the North Pole. It's, uh, if I'm not mistaken, if it's the most northerly airport with commercial traffic. And there are quite a lot of uh, limitations regarding who's allowed to use it. I think a lot of different nationalities are allowed to use the, uh, the area and uh, the, uh, the island, but uh, for commercial traffic it's quite limited. We um, have flown here with a bit older 737s back in the day. I've been here 14 years now. And with the old 300s, we, uh, I think we had to modify them a bit to be able to fly that far north, navigation-wise. It's not a problem with this one, though. Um, on the other hand, when we get there, we, we are not covered by any kind of radar. They don't see where we are. We just tell them, and they basically know. They don't have a controlled airport. It's uncontrolled, so you have an AFIS control controller sitting there advising us and uh, basically checking the runway for us. Uh, so so it, it's not a place you want to get in trouble. Uh, with that being said, Svalbard is one of the challenging places because the climate and weather changes rapidly. Today it's been reported good for many, many days. We, we checked the weather there several days before we go there to see how it looks, if it's stable. and. Uh, also to be 
to be ahead of our game to see how much time we need before the flight to prepare. Today looks very good as mentioned and uh, we'll soon start to uh, prepare for the approach. We will uh, soon have the island of uh, Björnøya out here to our right. That's uh, around 74 degrees north. Uh, that's just a research island. I think they have like nine inhabitants or something. Researchers working there. We'll see if you can see it afterwards, looking out uh, in a few minutes. From there, we are now flying to the uh, main island, which is called uh, Spitsbergen on Svalbard. We will fly uh, west of the coastline and then turn right and then come into uh, Longyearbyen, which is the main city here on Svalbard, and the, the runway is more or less east-westerly. Here you have a mountain called uh, Teltberge, and uh, from here it's quite steep down towards the runway. So today with winds from uh, 130 degrees, it's not that bad. Had it been from straight south, we could expect uh, quite severe turbulence when landing here. But today should be more or less, uh, more or less good. It's quite a mountainous area all the way around here. So what we'll do, we'll do a briefing afterwards, but we will fly out here over the ocean and then turn inbound on the ILS. And if we get any kind of problems that will result in a go around, we do a immediate left turn out towards the ocean again and uh, usually for new attempts. The weather today isn't uh, very bad, it's quite good. We have a cold stable weather. The uh, weather was very good yesterday with clear skies. Now they have some clouds, so uh, it's not a problem flying wise, but we'll see how good the visibility and scenery is. Svalbard isn't a very uh, friendly place to live. It's uh, Arctic. They have uh, just shy of 3,000 inhabitants, if I'm not mistaken. The uh, MSA is slightly higher to the east, 4,008 northeast. Might go into that sector during a uh, go round, but we should be uh, able to stay over the water. Yeah. Threats here, they don't have a radar coverage, so we will uh, basically be on our own in that way, in, in two ways actually. Uh, first of all, a lot of the navigation will be up to us, and secondly, there won't be any other aircraft here either. Exactly. So that's good. It's an uncontrolled airport, so we have a couple of uh, non-normal uh, clearances. Uh, we won't be cleared in the same way we're used to, but uh, we've seen it's a lot of different places, so it's not that unfamiliar. Otherwise, I don't think I have much else to brief. Do you have any questions or anything to add, Stefan? No, sounds good. We can do the descent checklist. Precisation landing altitude 100 feet set for uh, Svalva. Recall checked. Water break 3 for now. 3 landing data. We have uh, 125, uh, minimum 631 feet. Fear of 1, 2, 5, and 6, 31, and approach briefing completed. The sand check is completed. So the minima with minus 4 degrees temperature is 669. Yes. That does check completed. Thank you. We are information uh, 396. We're passing in par at this time. In a dollar or half a million for the room, I don't think three million is less than a million. Roger, report. Call your final runway 09, Nordic 396. Good. 
Power lock and glide slow capture. Check. 095 set inbound and we have 4600 for go around. Check. Engine anti ice on. And it's pretty much the same as we calculated with the. Yep. Flaps 5 set. Checked. Gear down. Flaps 50. Speed checked. Contact checked. Line checklist the flaps, please. Chemical given. Any star switches. Continuous. Speed brake. Arm. Landing gear. Down. Flaps 25, speed checked. Flaps 25 set, checked. 2500. RA live, can H1019 or 1019. Minimums. Five hundred checked. Five hundred. Three hundred. Two hundred. One hundred. Fifty. 40, 30, 20, 10. Speed brakes up. Two reversers idle. 100 knots. Checks. Model brake. Okay. Break. Disarm. 80 knots. Checks. Nordic 396 uh, long air landing time 57 and Bravo to park. Copy 57 Bravo to parking Nordic 396. Done with the flight up to Svalbard. Now we just have to do a turnaround here, check the aircraft, maybe the ice, we'll see, and then go back south via Tromsø down to Oslo again. For every departure, we have to do a uh, walk around around the aircraft, check the aircraft for uh, anything that shouldn't be as it should be, and basically inspect the airframe. We'll start off here in the front, checking a pictorial tube and an alpha vane, going to the wheel well, check that the uh, equipment door is uh, closed, and in here we are checking uh, wiring for the no scare, checking the different uh, tubes, also checking the uh, strut behind, uh, well, be between the tires, checking for oil leakage and that it's uh, filled with uh, the correct amount of pressure. Well, we check the cowling for any evidence of bird strikes or damage. This one looks really nice. The spinner is good and we check all the uh, fan blades. A special thing up here in the, in the north, we also check the uh, back side of the fan blades to check if there is any ice building up. And the first place the ice build up is always on the inner part, back side of the fan blades. Inner part of the wing front is good. The uh, latches on the engines are closed. And we have the uh, air inlet for the uh, air conditioning system. You can see the front of the wing, the wing edge. We also see here that uh, during our turnaround they've added some preventive de-icing fluid. That's very nice and that avoids us to need a de-icing before we depart. Looking through the back side of the engine we can see the back end of the turbine. 
with the turbine blades being intact. No evidence of eternal damage there. And out here you have the uh, pressure, li pressure relief valve and the vent for the tank. Two green position lights and the winglet sticking up. Everything seems intact as it should be. Ailerons and the flaps. See that everything looks as it should and that there isn't any snow or slush blocking them. Right main tires are uh, looking good. Not much wear here. You also have the brake wear pins on both sides indicating the thickness of the uh, brakes available. Also checking the strut. Here we have the nitrogen generation system. It's working. We are looking for basic leakage, looking for wear and tear, checking wires, checking the different hydraulic systems with the uh, amount of fluid in them. Everything looks good. We have the uh, outflow valve and a negative pressure relief valve. Everything looks good and also nothing blocking the inlet of the uh, APU. From here you can see the leading edge of the uh, tail fin. From the back of the airplane we can see that it's basically leveled off. We see uh, that the APU exhaust looks as it should. And also we can check just below the uh, back end of the airplane here you can see that there's no evidence of a tail strike. You can see the green and red indicators on this shoe. This one gets bumped in if the uh, aircraft has had a uh, tail strike. So this one looks good. V1. Rotate. Pause right. Here up. Left swan, speed checked. And you not tears off. And you not tears off. Retrieve up and I'm back, descend to 7,000 feet, clinage 1011, and control airspace below flight level 105 for the next four miles. Philip 5 Yankee, wind variable 10 knots, 718, clear land. No, I clear land with. Four hundred approaching minimums. A bit of wipers on minimums. Three hundred. Intermediate top. Two hundred. One hundred. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Ten. Speed record. Two reversers. Seventy percent. One hundred. Can we use Bravo? Eighty knots. Or break this arm. I'll break. Sixty knots. My controls. Yeah. Controls. Glory, please pop on the Taxi and stand one six. V1. Rotate. Pass the rate. Get up.
Minimums. Still contacts. Check. Two hundred. Minimums. One hundred. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Ten. Speed breaks up. Two reverse recital. 100 knots. Checked. 80 knots. Checked. 60 knots. Welcome to uh, Oslo. That concludes the uh, program for today. Four sectors up in the uh, Arctic. Uh, it's been uh, good, nice weather and uh, really uh, scenic views and we have joined having you on board and uh, hope to see you on board again soon from all of us at Norwegian. Thank you. Thank you very much. We've tried to show you some of the uh, operation that we do. This is my this may be one of the more specific and exotic parts of our operation. For me, it's always nice to be here with my good friend Stefan. I hope that you've enjoyed what you've seen and we would like to wish all of you uh, a warm welcome here, becoming passengers with us in Norwegian or maybe employees. Thank you very much.